Victoria, uh, someone maybe wants to be a conservationist, but uh, they don't know where to start. Yes. yes. What, what advice would you share with them? It can so depend on where you're coming from, but there's a number of different things. Um, if you can, of course, to take classes. If you're, you know, a, 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 at a young age to, to go to college, university, and, and, and take those classes and pursue that. Um, another thing is to volunteer. If you can, to find those opportunities, those conservation opportunities, because for the most part, they exist all around us, right? You have um, um, parks or you have um, lots of different organizations that are working to conserve nature. And so if you're able to, go to them and offer your time, volunteer, because that is just the best way to get experience is hands-on. Um, I can never stress enough the importance of the attachments and the internships, how important those are um, for getting that real-world experience, and also so that you learn if that's really something that you want to do. Um, and then, of course, you know, if, if none of those opportunities are available to you, then start your own, you know? You can go online and do a lot of research as well of, of your own and go out and kind of start your own conservation projects. What's important to you? And if nobody is working on it, yeah. go it's for it. Go ahead and do it, yeah. you know? And um, what's important to you as well, you will always find a way to do it. Yeah. And there are free online courses as well. There's lots of, yeah. yeah. There are, it can, it can really be overwhelming. And I remember being that student of, you know, thinking like, yeah, how do I get to, to that spot, and, and every path is different. There's no one right path. There's many different ways. Yes.